subscribe, subscribe, and put a thumbs up. Garden, so today's beautiful rainy day, and I'm gonna show you how to identify Colette. This is Colette, it looks similar to kale, Brussels sprout, but Funny right here. This is Colette right here. Now, this one, it looked like it's Russian Colette, a uh, Russian kale, but it, uh, it might be just the kale because it's self seed from last year because I didn't plant this here. So, how you could identify is that these are not Colette. And I didn't plant them here. So it must be the wind, self seed, but it seemed like it looked like it's a rushing kale. But these are the collet that I planted. Collet right here that I planted. And this is just weeds. I will pull this out. And this is just weeds. So once I know that my plant is growing, this is beets from last year. I mean Swiss chart. Swiss chart or beets because I didn't plant them. It's self seed itself. So because of the um, wind. So here's more collet right here. And uh, I planted this collet. So that's why I know it is a collet. But really, if you look at it, Colette and Kale, they look very similar. Very, very similar. It might be Broccoli Rampini, this one, because I grow Broccoli Rampini last year. So it'll probably self see because I let it flower. So it's all about identifying your plant. So now I remember that this is weed. So I remember that this is uh, Broccoli Rampini. They're delicious. And this one is Colette. This one is Colette. So all this is Colette right here. But this is so beautiful. I'm excited that I'm able to master and grow in this Colette. Because not only are they delicious, but they are exotic and they were new to the United States. So it's all about identifying it. So this, so I did grow Colette around here and the beet take over. So if you really look, these are the Colette right here that are growing. These are beets. This is wheat. So this is the second season that I start planting this amazing superfood Colette. And if you guys don't know what Colette is, you can check my previous vi video of how it looked. But this is the beginning of a Colette. Uh, last season, I didn't know how to plant them. And I didn't really pay attention to them. I would just eat them like kale. And I would just pinch them on the bottom leaf and start eating them as kale. And of course, I didn't know until the end that I see some bud. Brussels, uh, Brussels sprout and Russian kale hybrided. So this is how it look. And it look like kale. But I will show you what a Russian kale plant look like and what a Brussels sprout plant look like. And you guys can make the comparison. 
this is my Russian kale garden right here and if you know the bottom look like that that's how you know it is a kale because of the way it grow it grow from the bottom and the, there's no stalk it just spread out like lettuce so um so that's the Russian kale look like. So that's how you know to identify this and also the leaf. This is the Russian kale leaf. It look like that and the palette look different. So here's my Russian kale garden that I planted. I need to thin them out, but I had so much so I'm just going to leave it alone. But if you notice that if you don't thin them out, they look like this. But when you when they you thin them out, they look bigger. The leaf is much bigger because they have more room. So, and if you have a lot of wheat like I do, all you have to do is just start with the plant first. Okay, start pulling out the one next to the plant first. And then work your way out. If you get overwhelmed with weeds, you can start with which plants have weed close to their root, and you can pull those weeds out. So that's the healthy one right there, big and plump, and the rest are just small baby Russian kelet. So I'm gonna show you what a Brussels sprout. So here's a Brussels sprout plant right here and two years four years now I have a master in growing Brussels sprout because I don't know uh, my uh, worm will get into it so this year is going to be helpful because I got chicken who can help me get the worm out from the vegetable but this is all my Brussels sprout See the different Brussels sprout is really green and you can see the stalk. The stalk is starting to come up. So um, I would do it just thin this bottom out for it to um, grow taller. The energy doesn't go to every leaf. So I pull some out from the bottom. So that's how it looked with Brussels sprout. So now you see, now you can compare Brussels sprout, Russian kale, and then those two give birth to Colette. So I'm gonna go back to the Colette plant and show you the difference. So I'm back with the Colette and I have about maybe three, five, I have about maybe 12 plant. I'm keeping them. The rest, I give them away. And this is just amazing. Two and a half month old plant that I start with the eight cartons. Half of them I start with the eight cartons and the other half I just sow them into the ground. So if I want all of you out there to start planting this amazing uh, veggie I call super uh, super uh, vegetable because this is amazing this is new for two years now I've been new to US but to the European they've been doing this for a while they call it flower sprout but for us we call it Colette I would just call it superfood. But anyway, this is amazing. I'm excited. So I know you guys only saw the result, but this is the beginning of it. So how to grow Colette is very simple. You can start anytime. It's good to start in spring and then harvest them in the fall. But I would harvest them throughout the end of the summer. 
I harvest the bottom leaf and eat them like kale. So I would uh, cut them the bottom leaf first. I will show you how. So you see this one? See the bottom leaf? So I would just pinch them so it can grow taller. So Brussels sprout is green <clears throat> and Colette here is give it the little purple kind. So if you see this, I just cut the bottom, give it a little haircut. And that's how you grow. <clears throat> that's how you grow Colette. This is the beginning phase of Colette. So that's it. This is our lettuce area. Look how beautiful and green is. Beets and radish. So I just wanted to share with you the Kalat. These purple Vienna Karabi look very simple when they are this age. Right here. When they are this age, they look very simple, similar to Kalat. But they totally different. This is purple Vienna Caraba. But as you can see, they're very similar to Colette. And I'm going to show you why it's similar. But when they get up this big, you can tell already that this is not Colette because of how flat the leaf is. So I wanted to share with you the different. But when they were this age they look very similar because this is not flat yet the leaf right here is very curvy but this and the Colette are the same age so this is the purple Vian Caraba and here are the Colette as you can see the leaf looks similar in the middle but the end here is much curvier and as, as I say, when they were this age, they look very simple. I was like, oh my God, um, did I plant the same place? But this is it. Um, when they get this age, you can tell that these are the Colette. But it's beautiful and it's purple. The Colette is purple. But it's very beautiful and you can see that the leaf are very curvy. And I was telling you that the Colette are the hybrid between Russian kale and Brussels sprout. So let me share with you the Russian kale. seedling look like right here this is the Russian kale it had a purple stalk just like the Colette but down here it grows like that it doesn't grow like a stalk it grow like a kale it grow like a lettuce but um that's how this one so they hybrid between the Russian kale and the Brussels sprout. So right here is the Brussels sprout. Right here. Okay, that's the Brussels sprout. And I have more. This one is kale. Brussels sprout is over there. Right here. Brussels sprout. So this year I'm excited that I can grow Brussels sprout, cauliflower, we have a bunch of kale. We're going to have a party this Sunday and we're going to have a kale chips. So I'm going to let you see from the master who, very master, she's from France, she's master in making kale chips. So. Just gonna 
show you her way. Her way probably different than my way. Everybody have different way, but that's the cow, Russian cow. And I don't know the name of this cow, but it all is cow. But that's the way it is. my Colette garden I wanted to share with you the beauty of these Colette about two feet high and it's gonna go up to this high about three feet tall. show you how I uh, deadheaded the bottom leaf of it so here's the bottom leaf here you go so I will do that so it will grow well because you can see it's really brown. Oh, the brown one. If you notice, oh, the brown one. Okay. This one. That's it. So that's it. That's how bloom and it looks so healthy and well. Look very healthy. Uh, earlier this season, there was a couple of cabbage worms, so I picked them up and I feed it to my chicken, so now I don't see any at all. So this is amazing. Look how healthy that is. That's a healthy Colette. Subscribe, subscribe, and put a thumbs up.